Alright guys, today we're going to be betting um, the Project 1000 yard gun. It's shooting very good, um, as is, but um, I noticed something on the stock that I didn't really like and um, if we can squeeze more accuracy out of it for cheap, then we might as well. So I picked up this ProBed 2000 kit, um, it was like 18 bucks for Midway, 4 ounce black. Um, it's a pretty. It's supposed to be a good betting kit. I've never bet anything, so we're going to see what we got. The reason I actually want to bet it is back here on the back of this uh, aluminum betting block, um, it's, it's rubbing the finish off the back of the receiver, which tells me that the receiver is sliding um, a little bit in the in the block or the. Um, so, what we got here is we're going to bed the the recoil log here to make sure everything's all firmed up in there. So we got the tape taped off here, a little bit of tape in here. Um, that'll make sure if we get anything that spills off um, when everything's tightened done, we can um, either you know cut it and uh, pull everything off, and uh, so it's nice and clean. Um, so. We've also got the uh, action done here. We're adding two pieces of tape to the front, the bottom, and the sides. What this allows us to do is if anything moves or um, anything like that uh, on the sides of the front, what it does is it allows the action, um, the recoil leg specifically, to be removed uh, from the stock uh, and not have to fight it or force it in. Um, the back side is smooth because that is the critical area. Um, where the uh, action actually um, sits in there. So to show you how loose it is right now, we'll drop this in here. And so there's a little, if you can see on the back of the action there, it slides back and forth in there a little bit. And uh, I'm not sure exactly where it tightens down with the uh, action screws, but um, obviously if there's movement, it's not tight enough. The other thing is it spins a little bit in there and we're hoping to get rid of that today too. To add some wax to uh, the receiver here where we're receiving the barrel where the bedding combo is going to hit. It's like a release agent more or less to so make sure that the stock and that action don't get fused together because that would be bad. to 65, 67 foot pounds. Inch pounds. Inch pounds. All right guys, so it's been 18 hours. The directions say 16, uh, at least 16 hours. Um, the extra stuff that we had here was, um, was hard and it was breaking, so we're gonna go ahead and pull this apart. Um, one thing I did do this morning was uh, I ran the bolt in and closed it and it was kind of like mushy and apparently I've got some bedding compound um, through one of the holes. I don't know if I pushed a little into the side hole or where it got in there, but um, the bolt does close and I, I seem to get most of it closed out. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this apart now. Ooh, holy smokes. So we got everything cleaned out and we uh, sanded down the edges here a little bit of everything and took the tape off and just cleaned everything up. Um, as you can see in the bottom of that, it looks like the recoil lug was actually sitting against the bedding block. There's no material stuck in there. Um, but what we did do is fill the front of it so it should eliminate some of the movement. The other thing that really helped, I think, is put some more surface in here um, that will contact the receiver. I may end up doing more to the rear of the rifle uh, down the line, but uh, I think this, this should make an improvement. Um, if not, it didn't hurt anything. So, uh, Regardless, it was uh, first time trying this, and I think... Uh, it was definitely a learning experience. All right, so with the action, the barrel dropped into the stock. You can see here before we took this and we and we rocked the um, action front rear, and now it doesn't move at all. It still rocks back and forth just a little bit. Um, I'm not sure if I didn't get quite enough material stuck down in that um, down inside that uh, bedding or inside the recoil lug hole. But um, my primary concern was moving front to rear. I think uh, everything turned out pretty well. We'll uh, definitely see how this affects accuracy. We're still playing with loads and still fighting the gun ammo craze, um, trying to find components, but um, I don't think it'll hurt. Definitely won't, shouldn't hurt accuracy, but um, overall, I think the uh, gun is turning out pretty nice. Don't forget to subscribe. As usual, we are always posting out 
fantastic videos and uh, overall I think the project turned out really well.